Okay, so this is the the um, the form of the question which you which you sent me, right? So I'm going to simplify it into equations first. So x one equals two minus r over l x one. minus 1 over L x2 and then x2 derivative equals to 1 over C x1 right uh, sorry plus 1 over L u right and then our output y equals to x2 then when you draw your diagram there you, you first look at your derivatives because in your diagrams, you have integrators, right, which look like this, right, integrate. So, you know, integrator changes the derivative into um, a, 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 a thing, a function. So, for every, because now we have two derivatives, which means we're going to have two integrators in our diagram. So, if... When you have an integrator, you must start with your derivative function, which turns this one into a normal function x, sorry, a normal function x. And then we're going to have another integrator, which turns our derivative x2 into function x2, right? So this diagrams, we want to draw them using these equations, right? So that now I'm starting. So we know that every time we start with our input, right? Start with our input, and then we're going to have our outputs at the end, right? And then in between, we have our integrators. So let me put this integrator. Start with this integrator first. x1. x1 derivative, okay? And then, when I look at my x1 equation, I have minus r over lx1. So here's my x1. So I'm going to take my x1, multiply it with the gain of minus r over l, and then I'll get, and then, actually it's plus r over l then, you're going to minus it because it's xl. It's minus r over lxl. So minus r over lxl, right? So you have this part already. So now you want to do this part, right? So for this part, you need this integrator. So let me put this integ this this for this integrator. right and then so for me to get this part this part snake for me to get this part this one i need to say take it from x2 multiply it with the gain of one over l minus so now for this one comes from the input multiplied with the gain of 1 over L then gonna add it so I'm done with this function then I want to do this one okay. so uh, from my equation from the determining the equation we know that um, we know that x2 equals to x1 i mean sorry so let me just continue so um now we want to do this one and for this one from our x1 now we multiply it with the integrator of 1 over c 
we're going to edit and I, so we are done with this one then you do our outputs our outputs you see there is x2 so you just put it directly like that and then we are done